Hello beautiful people, you're welcome to the TDJ show. My name is Dr. Justina Wachukweku and on this episode we are going to talk about male urethritis. Guys, I promise you it will be your turn soon. So what is urethritis? Urethritis is an inflammation of the urethra. And the urethra is the tube in the penis where semen and urine flows through to the outside. That is the urethra. And several things can cause this inflammation. Most commonly, it's usually an infection. And less commonly, we can have other things like trauma, catheterization when you go to the hospital or when you have prostate disease and you have to put in a catheter or sometimes reactions to certain chemicals like spermicides when you're having sex and other things but today our focus will be on the causes by infection the other time we spoke about the different kinds of infection today's infection basically most of them are bacteria the commonest is called gonorrhea i'm sure we all know about gonorrhea and the organism that causes gonorrhea is called neisseria gonorrhea Followed by that, we have one caused by chlamydia trachomatis. Then less commonly, we have the mycoplasma, we have the uroplasma, we can have trichomonas. But we are going to focus more on the gonorrhea and then the chlamydia. Now, these inflammations, when it happens, or this infection of the urethra, usually have a urethra discharge. What is a discharge? A discharge is any liquid aside urine or semen that will come out of your urethra so if we're a man and you see anything coming out any form of liquid whether it is thick or light coming out of your urethra and then it is not urine and it is not semen then you have a urethra discharge most of the time when you have discharge you can have some burning sensation or pain on urination so when you have these things happening then you're having a urethritis that is an infection of your urethra now we'll break it down to the other how you know whether it is the gonorrhea or you know it is chlamydia so for the gonorrhea usually when you have it it's very it happens speedily like within three to four days you realize that you're seeing the discharge and you're having this burning sensation and you, it's really really uncomfortable for the chlamydia it's usually very slow it happens slowly over a period of time and it takes a very long time but then you realize that no this thing has been happening so let me see a doctor or let me do something about it the discharge for the gonorrhea is usually white or opaque yellow and the one for the chlamydia is either watery or mucoid and sometimes it's usually very small that is the major differentiation but you can't just you know look at it and say that i have gonorrhea or i have chlamydia i have to come and see your doctor now these infections are stis that is they are sexually transmitted so for you to have them then you must have engaged in an unprotected sex or you are being promiscuous that means you're having sex with different other people and because of that it is a disease of the young most commonly people between around 25 years or less they are the ones who usually get these kind of infection I, others can get it the older ones can get it but you realize that it's very common in the younger ones and people who have very bad sexual habits so now when you realize that you have a discharge and you have painful urination then you should know that you're having an sti and because it's an sti it is very likely that you can have other stis happening like hiv herpes syphilis and all others so when you come and see your doctor will also try the doctor will try and eliminate the other causes or other type of STIs as well. So what do you do when you realize that you have these things? You see your doctor, you tell your doctor about what you're having. The doctor will now take history because they want to try and eliminate other causes as well. Now they would examine you. The doctor would like to see the kind of discharge you have, whether you have any reaction around your penis or the urethra orifice, whether there's any other thing that is worth considering. Then we'll let you go to the lab. Most of the time we take a swab, a sample of this discharge. Sometimes you can even take a bit of urine to rule out other things and it will be analyzed. So based on the analysis, we can either see whether it is just the gonorrhea or chlamydia or we have other things happening as well. Now for the treatment, per our region, diagnosing it is not difficult but not every facility has what it takes to diagnose chlamydia or gonorrhea or the other lesser causes or less common causes so what is usually 
advice or what the WHO advises is that we treat both of them at the same time. So when you see your doctor and your doctor realizes that you have something like that happening, we usually give you some form of treatment that will cover both the gonorrhea and the chlamydia and even the others as well. So it involves usually most of the time an injection and some oral medication to target all these organisms. Now, when you are taking the medication, you are supposed to abstain for sex for one week. Don't sleep with any person for that one week you are completing all the medication in order to make the treatment more effective. Now, when we are treating you, because it's a sexually transmitted infection, we are supposed to also treat your partner as well. So even if you have 10 partners, we need to treat all those partners in order to make sure that we've treated you more effectively. We also advocate that you come in three months later so that we recheck again to make sure that truly you have actually treated and we've eradicated the condition. Now, before I talk about the complication, I'd like you to know that this treatment, as we said, covers almost everything, both the gonorrhea and the chlamydia and the lesser species. But when you come, we, we treat you and you come back and realize that you're still having the symptoms, we may have to delve deeper into the very less, um, less common causes like the Trichomonas vaginalis, that one has a little bit different treatment. We don't usually add it to the normal one. Those are very, very rare. But when it happens that we treat it for the common ones and you are still struggling, then we have to go in for the very rare type. Sometimes diagnosis is a bit difficult, so we have to treat blindly. That is in our part of the world, but not in the advanced countries. Now, what are some of the complications when you have these um, conditions? For the men, sometimes they can actually go on its own, okay? But then it can spread and involve your other parts of, apart from the urethra, of your genital organs like your epididymis. It can even reach the prostate and cause an infection of the prostate that we call prostatitis. For the gonorrhea, sometimes it can even affect your joints and can have septic arthritis from the gonorrhea. Now, if you infect your partner, the females, the females have worse prognosis because if a female gets to have gonorrhea or chlamydia, they can actually have infertility from it and they can have PID, that is the pelvic inflammatory disease from it as well. So you wouldn't want that to happen to your partner. So you would want to treat yourself and treat all your partners as well in order to avoid these dire consequences. For the male, infertility is quite rare but then you wouldn't want to have this happening. And another thing that can happen to the men is you can have a stricture or stenosis. When we say stricture, you see where the urine is coming from. You have a sore, you have an inflammation. When it is healing on its own without treatment, it can heal with scarring. So when you've healed with scarring, then you have a bit of a scar tissue in your urethra. So it can minimize the ball of the urethra so the urine comes out in a split way instead of coming in one direction it comes out divided into you know two different pathways or sometimes it can actually block you have a bit of a stenosis you wouldn't want that treating it is also quite difficult or it requires you know more difficult and more you need a urologist to put you through a series of things to help you treat this stricture and she knows this. I know you wouldn't want that. So our dear gentlemen, please, if you see any of these symptoms, please rush to your nearest facility, see your doctor and get treated. We have our numbers, our WhatsApp numbers also popping up. You can call us if you need help with anything. If you need guidelines to anything, you can reach us and you can also comment in the section below. Thank you very much for listening to us. God bless you and don't miss any episode of the TDJ show. We have more things coming. Thank you.